Hi everybody, it's Don Derwin. Sorry about that. Anyway, it's Don Derwin and I um, had a problem with uh, my car, the 2001 PT Cruiser. I've had it for uh, a few years. And um, what happened was my um, my gas tank um, straps this is one of them and what some um, the, it ru rusted off this is supposed to be this big like this on here it's supposed, to, supposed to be like the other one Big, but um, it rusted off. Actually, there was this. This was the only one holding it up. But um, they're not that easy to get out. I had to. Um, I thought I'd just be able to get it out really quick. But what you have to do is um, you got to lower your gas tank. You don't have to remove it, but you have to lower it. And the thing is, there's like a slot in the side, and it, it, it goes in like this. And you, with the gas tank in there, you can't get them out because they're, it's squished in there. And you can't, you know, you need to get it like this to get it out. And with the gas tank in there, it's smushed sideways. So I was like thinking maybe I could get it out, but I tried for about a half hour. 45 minutes, something like that, with a screwdriver and prying it out, and it just not, not going to come out. But so it, to get it out is you got to lower the gas tank, and when the gas tank is lowered, you have to turn it sideways like this, and pull it up out of the slot, and then come out like this. It's like a slot that goes in. Then to put it back in, you put it back in like this. And then you got to turn it like this, and then it fits in there like that. And it's not that easy to get them out, even when um, you're able to do it. But you have to lower your gas tank, which is a pain. Um, I was trying to look online. If they had any, anybody ever done it. But, um... You have to remove your exhaust, uh, your exhaust system. And I did that with the, with this, with the Dremel. I probably should have set this up, but uh, I didn't. And my gas tank, I needed to um, get a new muffler anyway. But I sat there with the Dremel. It's not bad. My other one, when I did the truck, I um, got it off with the um, with the sawzall. But um, that thing's <laughs> thing's pretty dangerous. Those things that it worked, but man, I was scared. I'm like, man, you saw your fingers off of that thing really easily. But anyway, I just took a little Dremel, not a hacksaw or anything. And I just uh, like cut cut um, I cut like one side off here and I think I just hit it hit it enough and I, it broke loose but I was trying to get in there to get this side out but I cut this with a Dremel and this I think I just twisted it off and just hit it really hard with the chisel and it kind of broke off. See here, you can see it kind of cracked, kind of cracked here. But but getting this back side with the uh, Dremel, you can get this side really easily. But um, the other part.
I never um, did really exhaust systems before, but, but this was a problem because I had to get this. The, this is the part which is next to the catalytic catalytic converter. What is I did here? I learned a little bit from what I've done there, and um, what I did is I, I cut it here, and I cut it here, and I cut it here. You know, like an opening. And actually, this is getting kind of rusty here anyway. So I got this off right here, and then I pulled this off, and. It um, came out. So, but that's how I got that up. But uh, the Dremel, Dremel worked. Um, or no, wait a second. Yeah, well, th this is the part that was on a catalytic converter. Oh, here is the other part. Actually, here, this is how I did it here. Ah. here this way I opened it up with the Dremel took the Dremel and I cut it here like this I went like this and cut there and I just opened this up and it just kind of broke off I was able to uh, get it off like that I was gonna try and get the other side with the Dremel but um, that seemed kind of hard so I just kind of Worked it loose and pried it off. And it broke off. But that's how I got my muffler off. Now, uh, I got so disgusted. I got so pissed off that I'm like, gee, you know, I thought this would be a real nice, easy job got my muffler off, and then, um... But no, it's not. <laughs> not that. So here's the, here's the book. Here I, I got the, the Haynes repair manual. I got, I went online and, and on YouTube, I mean, yeah, YouTube, and I tried to, um, look for somebody that's done this, but, um, Nobody ever done it, but I've seen that you have to take your the tank off or at least lower it. I had to lower it maybe 10 inches. I'll go underneath the car and show you a little bit. But um, here you can uh, look at the instructions there. I'm sure you can see that. So and it tells you to do. Oh, and th this is the funny thing about that is right there is it says you can have up to 16 gallons of uh, fuel underneath it but you know what the um the thing is up so high that you can have 10 gallons of fuel in your tank and it still wouldn't come out right now i got like about i would say maybe two gallons of gas and maybe a gallon and a half two gallons oh, maybe a gallon and a half I, should, I pumped a little bit more than I wanted to, but probably shouldn't have done that. But anyway, and this little filler thing, uh, that's not really necessary. I'll show you here. I'll show you what it looks like here in this thing. Here, this is what it looks like. I took it off, but um, no gas came out of there at all. Nothing. And this is what it says to empty the tank first with this. But nothing came out. So you don't have to take this off at all. Unless you want. But, uh, but it says to um, open up your uh, gas cap. That I done. And then this removal thing, I didn't, I tried to get the thing off, but there's enough hose on there that you can lower your tank maybe 10 inches and it'd be just fine. You have to, up on top of the tank, there's like little things you could, they leave you enough hose on there where you don't have to do that. 
but you have to disconnect the electrical connection. So. And then it says to go over here. For number uh, number two, it says, yeah, all right, all right. Oh. Well, it says, remove the, God, I can hardly see this in this light. That's number two. Yeah, all right, number one. Anyway, you guys can read this, I'm sure. Pause the video and read it. But not this part, just this part here. But anyway, it says remove the fuel pump relay and I went over my um, my relay box and the box is um, right by where the um, the air filter goes. I just mine I just have I just pull mine whole thing out like this. I just pull the whole thing out. These clips are not really tight in there. But see, I just pull the whole thing out when I want to, and it gets it all out, no problem, you know. They don't tell you to do that in a book. <laughs> but that's how I do mine. All right, anyway, and there's where your uh, fuse box is, and here's the, um, the relay. I'm gonna have to get in there with a uh, little corrosion or sandpaper or something actually uh, underneath. Oh, well, maybe this is not so bad. Maybe a little, but not that bad. But this is a relay, and if you look at your box here this way, it's like this. And the fuel pump relay is right here. One in the middle, the one that got missing there, you can see. One right there that's gone. Right there. As it looks like. And here's where it says it in here. Fuel pump relay right there. So then it says to start your car and let the fuel uh, run out until it let it run until it dies out. Well, never ran. So then I said, okay, after that, then the pressure is out. But I never disconnected the lines anyway. I couldn't really get it off. But then I thought, like, maybe, uh, I'm like, it might make it worse. So I left it on, and, yeah, it's, it'll work. You don't have to take it off. There's enough, um, there's enough hose on there where you can set it down. Let me get these things out of here before I trip over them. I'm getting all dirty in there. Yeah, there's my new muffler. Yeah, they're not the same. Um... Yeah, you gotta get a new muffler if you're gonna do your tank straps. But they don't have the same um, things. This is the probably from the original car. And here's what I got. Those things. They're not. Um, they're not. They're not as nice looking as. Probably the original. These are original. 
And the thing's a little bit smaller to the, the muffler, but it'll probably work, I'm sure. So now what next? Okay, we did that. And then it comes over here. And here it's got kind of came and see because of the sun. Now anyway, it gives you a couple of uh, it says to unloosen uh, this screw here. This one, this is for the fuel filler neck. Here's the gas tank here. And I did take that one off because you need to take that one off, this hose. And then this hose I left intact. That's for the EVAP, because there's plenty of hose up, up on top of the tank. Probably like, you know, foot extra or more maybe a foot and a half extra hose, so don't worry about that, but this one's got to come off. Let's put some WD-40 there and it came right off. Then it says to use a transmission jack, and thank God I got one, so that came in handy. But to put that underneath there, I got about a gallon and a half, two gallons in there, maybe probably a gallon and a half. And, um, Oh, here, might as well let you read the book. But um, I can't see. God, I really can't see this. I mean, I can't see. The sun is so bright. It says disconnect the, the vapor hose, loosen the screw and the fueler neck. Then, oh, here's the illustration here. This is um this is the electrical thing. Here, uh, Shadow is getting in there. But it says uh, disconnect this electrical thing. This I did because that appears. So I actually took it off the car. Then this hoses I left I left um, intact there. You don't need to take those off unless you're going to remove the tank totally. Then you definitely have to. All right, I'm losing all my stuff out of the book. Enough with the book. The book helps, but I don't think it's actually perfect. Now I get underneath the car and take a look at all this stuff. I don't know which end we'll go at first. Oh God, I got this thing here. See, oh, I, and two, I just uh, went through this clamp here. This is what's clamped on there. I went right through this with the Dremel. Get that off. Actually, it doesn't take too long. Maybe, maybe two or three hours, maybe two hours or something. But better than sawing my fingers off. Oh, here, here's the... Um, Here's the other end. <laughs> this one just totally rusted off. There's only one strap holding it up. But I guess we can try to get them out here first. Ow. Ow. Here. 
here's the electrical connection that I took off. Um, but there was another um, Oh, here's the other end of it. Yeah. This side was in the car itself. I was going to try and leave them there, but I just pried them out. It's actually too hard to get them off. And I look in there, and there's some... Um, well, here you can see on this one, there's uh, corrosion. So I'm going to have to... Uh, See that green corrosion in there? I'm gonna have to um, get some sandpaper or something or a file and try to get that out of there. It's not good. But yeah, these clips, I don't know. Yeah, I, d I didn't realize it, but yep, these clips, you gotta take this, this red thing out. And I didn't realize it, but um, these things, I always thought I was breaking them off. But uh, these things are made to put back on. They just snap off. I was like looking at that. It's like... You can snap them back on there. I guess I'll try and do that. But anyway, here's the... Um, the tank, I guess. There's my, uh, my fuel pump right there. And uh, these are the hoses that... Um, There, there's the hoses there. This is the one attached to the fuel tank, this one there. But you can see, I mean, there's not really a lot on this side. But there's enough to where, you know, you don't have to disconnect it. Thought there was another um in there too somewhere, but I don't know what. Oh this one maybe? Well yeah, I guess it's that one that I was trying to get off. That one I think that's what they told you to get off in the book. I couldn't I couldn't get it off. Yeah, it's attached to the tank. That's actually your fuel line and the pressure line there. But I couldn't get it off anyway, so. Say it's a, it's a quick disconnect. You push it in, and it's supposed to come off, but I don't know. I don't know, is that easy? top of the tank this way again. Oh, and there's the, the fuel filler hose right there. That's, that's the one I disconnected. One right over there. Over there. Oh yeah, I'll just put this light light. And then I'll go on around the other side. Oh, there's my um, transmission jack. Oh, I got that on there. I, um, I never used it for my transmission, but I've used it to put a door on and now on my gas tank, and I think I did another gas tank with it. So it actually comes in pretty handy. I mean, I'm glad I bought it. Even though I never used it for a transmission, I decided that, I mean, I, I made a mistake and the clutch is actually good, so I don't know why I was slipping on my truck, but I'm like, hey, it works, so I'm uh, not going to touch it. Truck still works, so that's good.
try to get in here and show everybody was well what I was talking about. This this is underneath. And oh man, maybe I can get the Right here. This is this is the one side. That thing working out. It's really hard to um, I guess that right there is with that little slot. Right there that thing. That's where that little slot is in. So that's why you got it turn it and then when you got to put it in vertically and put it in horizontally so you got to flip it a whole uh, 90 degrees and it won't come out if it's sideways so you have to um, lower the tank and then the other one There's the other one there. Oh. There. Boy, this thing really focuses. There's the other side. You can see there's um plenty of hose. Here on this side, you can see that, um, where I, and there are things in the way here. Where, where am I? Oh, yeah. You can see it's on top of the um, tank, like this. I took this. Where is this thing showing? I can't even. Oh, that thing's in the way. My watts link. But see how much hose is extra here? Watts link things I think are just a pain. Oh, I don't think I can really get in there. Oh, that's the top of the tank here. There, so there's plenty of extra hose. extra hose here too like this so when I got it down like this where I got that out this was for that uh, the drain plug you see that <laughs> drain plug you see what I mean This is where they say to drain it, here. Drain it here first, but look, look how deep this is here. You can have 10 gallons of gas in there. And this is where it attaches to the fuel filler neck. So this is higher than this. So what's the point of draining the fuel with this when there's more fuel that's gonna come out of here? I mean, it don't make any sense, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> but also, there is a shield. Um, but anyway, you know, that, that's... Um, dude, this is my muffler was here. Look how corrosion corroded that is. I'm gonna have to maybe put some grease on there. I mean, on there. And that's kind of... Um, other than that, it looks not so bad around over here. 
But there's some right with my mufflers, I suppose, because of the heat. That's all like crinkly. But, uh, I'm just gonna put a bunch of grease on there in my hands. Nothing I can do about the that. He let us buy a new car. This thing This thing goes around the tank. This was um looking upward up. This is on the bottom. And it's like aluminum foil, but it's on the tank with some little um things I can go show you. Like there's a hole there, there's a hole there. Like plastic holes. I mean, a little uh, like nails sticking out of the tank, and you just stick this on it. And there's another one, there's three of them. Actually, it's real easy, it just kind of just came off by itself. I mean, not, uh, not much trouble to get that off. But I'm sure it, uh, it's going to be necessary here. I see, here's these, uh, put these things where it was around there. Those things right there, this. But, um, but yeah, so, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to uh, put those clubs back in and uh, bring the tank back up and, uh, oh, look at these, uh, after I got it out, I guess. Uh, Oh, there got them. There's bolts here. Where is that? I'm looking up? There, there it is. There's bolts underneath because there's two of them. There's one here. And there's one. I had I got an impact wrench. Thank God I got some tools. I don't have everything. I don't got an oxyacetylene torch, but I'd like to get one of those. But um, uh, Oh, here, here's the bolts. I'm just gonna put these, they gave me some new ones, but um, I'm just gonna put these things back in. Put a bunch of grease on them. Sometimes I see that the original stuff's better than the cheap stuff that you get back. It's made in China. I'll just put this back in and put a bunch of grease on there. It'll be good to go, I guess. No sense in uh, worrying about that. And then, um, oh, here's the, um, here's the new ones. I got, I always go to AutoZone. This is, this is for the one side. See those things are just... About the same, so I'll have to put it in there vertically and flip it over like that and then hang it. And then after I get that in, then, um, pull up the tank. I suppose somebody could paint these first, but uh, they're going to get rusted anyway. Well, so anyway, that's what you got to uh, to do to fix one of your um, gas tank straps. So if uh, I didn't see any videos on YouTube for this, but um, if you ever need to go underneath your gas tank and you see them starting to fall off, well, mine, mine fell off already. 
I, but I seen my muffler is on. I was gonna do it last year, but I seen my muffler was starting to get um, rusted, and I figured maybe uh, let it wait one year and then um, take it off. But here, <laughs> there, there's my muffler there. There are some holes in it. But it's starting to, um, oh yeah, I guess there's a little, I guess it really needed to be done. So I figured I would uh, wait. Until I um, had to do my mouth, or since the other side was still good. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope this helped you out. And uh, oh, you got, I put my car up on, um, got it on, I got some of those. I just put it up. Ones. I got two of those. And then I have, um, I just set the wheel on some concrete blocks there, and then I got a jack, another jack. There was my impact wrench. Oh, I could give you the size of the socket too. Let me see. Um, it's a 15 millimeter. 15 millimeter. Where is it? I don't see that or not. But anyway, I you can see that or not. 15 millimeter. <sighs> what was I Oh, and I got um, Got a, my jack. I, I jacked mine up here. They say, just on the side here like this on that thing. Right on there. They say the two, um, actually in the book it says they use it on the body. You know where the crank, where the spot bolt is, but you know what, that's, I don't know, that doesn't sound too good, but I always do there. And I did the other side too, just the same. Same like that. And put the side on the concrete block too. This is a safety thing and something to get underneath on. So you put that on a block like that. So anyway, that's the job that you got to do if you're um, going to take off your uh, gas tank. I mean, you're um, fix those straps. So that's what you got to do. I know it seems like a lot, but. Probably maybe 800 bucks, maybe somebody would ask you to, <laughs> to fix it for. I don't know, who knows? Could be. Because you gotta do a whole muffler and your gas tank. Anyway, thanks for watching. All right, thanks. Hope this helped you out and uh, Actually, subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. Say you like the video. It would definitely uh, help. I don't got enough viewers yet, but um, maybe one of these days I will. But definitely, uh, I see a lot of people watch videos on uh, fixing a car. I think it's a very popular car, though. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope this video helped you out. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, thanks. Okay, bye.